Mm, it is the morning cryptos. It is January 13th. It is day 13 of my crypto challenge, my fourth really technically crypto challenge. And uh, we'll see what's going on. I have not looked at any of the markets other than Bitcoin. And uh, so let's uh, start the music. Check it out. Alright, so before I do anything else, I just want to look at Bitcoin here. I uh, I did a little special yesterday. If you haven't checked it out, you might want to look at it just to kind of see <clears throat> kind of what my process is. And uh, for me, uh, I'm learning how to really look and think deeply into these markets uh, and kind of see if I can actually get a sense of what they're going to do next. Um, and nobody's 100%, but I'm... I'm the deeper I think into it, the, the better I seem to be doing, but we'll see. Uh, I'll get this circle out of the way here. <coughs> what I was saying yesterday was it looked like it looked like we were right at a spot where it was going to do another one of these patterns, uh, but this time a bigger one. And this is the one hour chart. So we have this series of waves. We have a big one. With the big pullback, we have a smaller one, and then we have one that's a little bigger, and the bottoms are higher. So that was that was my prediction, that it would start moving up again, and it kind of looks like it's doing that. It's heading up for the, uh, on the this one-hour chart, it's heading up for the uh, the 200-hour line, and that's kind of cool. So um, we'll pull back uh, into a one-day chart, and then we'll go look at the news and see if there's any FUD, any FOMO, any grooviness. So what I'm hoping to see here is that this, we move up here. Uh, our first goal is to get up to this point, And then our next goal will be to test this 19,000 ish range <clears throat> approaching 20. Uh, and again, it may come up to this line and come back down. It may get into a little tighter spot as it gets ready to pop or it may not it may just go right through it so that's that's what I'm thinking about Bitcoin and again uh, this is in no way to be construed as any kind of advice this is me literally learning in front of you um, and so far I'm earning while I'm learning and uh, I really I had a lot of fear about Bitcoin and I wanted to really kind of dive into it uh, and understand it a little better just as uh, just as a chart, without thinking about all the other stuff that goes along with Bitcoin. Um, so that's that's what I'm looking at. Still seems pretty high to me, <laughs> but uh, let's uh, let's look at the news. And uh, I just hit refresh over here on Bitcoin price. Often I get some pretty good news for that. Ah, forget Bitcoin and Ripple. A trader reveals the latest cryptocurrency to invest in today. See that people? That is hype. That is what the Daily Express does, right? And that's why the people of the world are going to be rushing in here. And uh, hopefully we can keep them safe enough <laughs> so they don't lose all their shit and then we get blamed for it. That's that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, is Bitcoin's value due to the social status it brings? That might be an interesting article to look at. I don't know if I feel like looking at it now, but... Uh, Bitcoin eyes consolidation as price flirts with 14,000. That was there a day ago. Let's get rid of Bitcoin price and let's type in Bitcoin news. See if there's anything different. KFC Canada is accepting Bitcoin for fried chicken. Yeah. They're really going to wait that long for their confirmations. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, what's next for Bitcoin? Today's editor's picks. Yeah, I don't think there's anything... And you notice there's no news at all about Korea right now. All of a sudden, it was just FUD. It was just a rumor, and all of the news media outlets just picked it up and ran with it. So anyway, it's Saturday morning. It's a little later than I normally do this. I let myself sleep in a little bit, and I have not looked at any of the markets. 
other than Bitcoin. So let's grind through them and see if there's anything interesting. It kind of looks, uh, here we are, Bitcoin Cash. We are, we're going to approach this line again, and the question is, will it pop this time, or will it come back down to this line, maybe just a little higher than the last time, and then up, and then down, and up and down. We don't know whether it's going to work its way into a tight little thing and pop, or if it's just going to go sideways for a while. But what I like is it's holding its value. That, to me, is number one, what I like. Right? It is holding its value. And when it really crashed back before Christmas, it hardly did crash. It just, you know, it pulled back, popped right back. We've got some good support here. Um, and if you notice, this, this flash rise that we had back in November, um, I was literally just watching the market, and all of a sudden it did that. I'm like, holy crap, what just happened? But we're right at that point, really, if you, if you look at it. We are right at that spot right? So that's, that's really the big pattern, right? And then we broke through it here. Couldn't, couldn't hold it, but most parabolic moves don't get held. They come right back to a place that makes a little bit more sense. So we'll see what Bitcoin Cash does. My goal is to hang on until 4,000, and then I'm going to sell and move my profits into other stuff. Um, and then I'll I'll look to get back in on a pullback. Um, it's not a long-term hold for me yet. I, don't, I need to get to know it better. <laughs> uh, Bitcoin Gold, finally having a little bit of a move here. This is sweet. If this goes to 400, I'm taking my profits, and I'm going to run, and I'm going to put it into uh, Quantum or ADA or something else. Um, so that's cool. Let me look at the one-hour chart here and see if there's any insights that can be gleaned. That's pretty parabolic, people. That's pretty pretty popping. Told ya, told ya it was gonna pop. Told ya, told ya, been telling ya for two weeks. <laughs> if only I could dial it in so I was a little bit more accurate on when. Then then I would really be serious and uh, a serious threat to myself. Um, and we have popped above the seventy here, so it should be interesting to see. I mean, that's on the one hour chart. On the one day chart, have we popped? No, we haven't even approached the 70 on the one day chart, so I think we're okay. I think we're good. We have some room to move, and we'll see if it can. I'm gonna watch it. It's only a hundred, only a hundred bucks. You know, it's already moved a hundred bucks today. Let's see if it can keep it going. And again, if it does come up here, I'm out. So, let's go to Dash, see what Dash is doing. This is what I do every day, people. I do this all day, throughout the day. I just look, and I look, and I look. And then I make decisions. <laughs> do I want in, or do I want to stay a stand aside? Sorry about the flickering thing. I still haven't figured out how to use my mouse on these screens after more than six months of playing with them. Um, Dash, we have a sideways trading range. I don't know if it's going to break through or if it's going to keep going, but it's it's holding its value. We have higher bottoms, and we have kind of a target here at 1,200. I can't believe it. Like 1,200? Dash? 1,200? Like it's still, I'm still having a hard time comprehending that Dash is at 1,200 bucks. Um, but it seems to be holding, right? So, and we are just barely touching the... Um, the 50-day average here, I popped in a 25-day average line just because I was curious what a shorter, you know, just give me two weeks. I want to see what it's doing for two weeks. And that just kind of gave me just a little bit of another little kind of line that I could play with. So um, <clears throat> let's look at EOS. EOS, go girl or boy, go EOS. <laughs> EOS is my long-term hold at the moment, and every time I look at these profits and I want to sell, I just take a deep breath, and I go, this is my long-term hold, I'm going to hang on, and so far I'm glad I did, 
a lot of these I probably sold too soon, but I'm learning how to trade first. And then later on, when I have that trader's experience, then I think I'll be a better investor. That's kind of my long-term plan. So EOS, do, do not get in this now, people. This is, don't chase these. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, uh, I'm excited. I got some up stuff here. Got some stuff that's up. Yeah. I feel the, oh, Ethereum. I don't have any Ethereum, but, uh, <laughs> um, when it comes back, I'll be getting some. And again, Ethereum just really rocking here. Um, just don't get in now, but, uh. IOTA, still in its sideways range, but we might have some action here. It's coming up. And again, we have this kind of a top situation. I don't know the exact precise place to put it, but we have some resistance. Where's the big even? 450. Right there is probably the big even. 450. And then we got five. Then we have six. So we have some big evens here. And it'd be interesting to see if IOTA kind of catches the mood today and if all of a sudden the exuberance of the crowd takes over. Um, so far I've been holding IOTA because I think I got in somewhere like exactly to what the price is right now. <laughs> so I think I'm at even. But it's looking good. Let's look at the uh, one hour chart real quick here. Steady up, people. It has crossed over the 200-hour average. I have to keep doubling, checking, am I on the one-hour chart or the one-day chart? Is it one hour? Is it one day? What is it? We've crossed over the 200-hour. The so that's pretty cool. And uh, my my 25-day uh, average is just lagging a little bit behind. So that kind of shows me a little bit, a little bit of something. I don't know what it shows me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back to the one day going to Litecoin, going to Litecoin and Litecoin is coming ahead. Litecoin is making a move. Litecoin is not doing anything other than what it seems to want to do. So look at Litecoin, look at Dash, similar patterns, right? But the price difference is quite significant. Um, and it looks like Litecoin is still working its pattern. It's going to come up to this line, maybe today. Um, and we'll see if it breaks through or if it just... Litecoin, in my experience, has tended to have longer sideways patterns than almost any of the other coins. So we'll see what it does. We'll see what it does. Neo, still way the hell up. And I think we're going to see quantum in this area. I think we're going to see EOS in this area. Uh, Definitely Cardano in this area, probably within 12 months. Um, could be sooner. This market is crazy, and more and more people are pouring into it every day. So stuff could happen. Just like we didn't expect last year to like boost like it boosted, we might be surprised by how much it boosts this year. Or, right, or we could have a, a serious, serious nastiness. Oh, me say go. <clears throat> this is sweet. I cannot wait to look at all my balances because I think I think today might be a really good day to add it all up. And uh, but most of these are my long-term holds, so so I'm like I don't know if I'm going to take profits. Quantum, I am in the money. I bought in at fifty, so quantum, I'm good. I'm not going to buy anymore until it comes back down. So this is definitely not a place I'm going to put any profits today. Um. Uh, and quantum, I had every intention of holding in the beginning, but I haven't ended up doing it. So if it does get up to 85 here, I will probably take profits. Um, and uh, I just couldn't be long-term hold on everything. I love quantum. I think it's a great project. And it might be a $1,000 project at some point. And I'll go, oh, I had it at 50. Oh, <laughs> right. So we'll see. But I'm liking it. I think we got some good energy coming into the market here this morning. Um, and it's nice cause we had kind of a, you know, the week was, a, had some FUD, but we seem to recovering, be recovering nicely. This is, uh, XMR Monero. It's also on a boost at the moment. Okay. Again, not a great place to get in. 
right? The time to get in is when it's looking shitty, right? That's what the crowd doesn't think of. They go, oh, it's moving. I got to get some. And they jump in. And then it, then the people that know what they're doing start selling. So that I want to be that guy who knows what he's doing. <laughs> and hopefully you do too. Uh, Ripple. We might see a boost in Ripple today. We'll see if all the people jump on here. I don't know how sustainable another move here is for Ripple. I think it needs a significant consolidation period, but we'll see. Um, Zcash. Again, it's an up day. Don't get in here, right? Uh, and that's it for those guys. Let me go over to let me go over to ADA Cardano. We have a bit of a move here. Um, that's against Bitcoin. Let's look at it against US dollar tether. And we got to go to a one hour chart. Just here. And I got in at a dollar. So um, I'm close to being where I want to be. Uh, if I had timed it a little better, and that's really what all this is about, is me learning when to get in, you know, when to wait, you know, when to jump in, and also laddering in as something goes down. So buying some at what I think is a good spot, so maybe buying some at a dollar, and then kind of waiting and seeing. But you never know if it's going to pop again. See, it had a nice sideways... I had a nice sideways range here at a dollar, and I thought, okay, we're kind of stuck at a dollar. That seems we have some support here, so boom, I went in. But I went in with everything I had, but I was trying to protect my profits from being eroded over on Bitcoin. So it's like these, it's a three dimensional kind of a game that you got to get your head around. And uh, that part doesn't require much math, it requires a certain kind of reasoning and an observation, and then you make your best your best decision and go and you, you make a decision and you take action and it's not always perfect. Right. And then you have to be gentle with yourself, but also challenge yourself to next time go, okay, how could I have done this better? Well, I could have put some of my Bitcoin profits into us dollar tether, which would have protected them uh, as long as us dollar tether doesn't disappear. Right. So there's always that caveat. And then I could have put some in, then waited a little bit and then, waited for a significant drop, you know, because things were slow and I could kind of tell the energy was slow, but I was in a hurry. I didn't want to miss out because I really wanted to get back in because I'd done really well with Cardano and it's something I really believe in and it's a long-term hold for me, but I had taken profits and so I was kind of working out what my plan was. And sometimes that takes some time and you got to think it through. And that's why me just doing these videos every morning is helpful because I get to talk it out. And if I can explain it to you, then I hopefully will can explain it to me. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I would have loved to have getting gotten in down here. This would have been sweet, right? But you can't always get those. Now, some people put in buy orders way below where a market is. That to me doesn't. I tried putting in a sell order once at ninety one above Litecoin, but I. It ended up, when you put an order like that, it it sets aside a certain amount. And I that felt confining to me. Um, so that may be a practice that I develop in the future. So I don't miss these kind of drops on specific markets. But it would have I would have to be trading, you know, fewer markets, I think. And that's kind of the direction I'm moving. So anyway, I'm happy that Cardano is coming back up. I think it's a great project. And it was just, you know... That was a little premature. Uh, so we'll see if it can hold it here and then move up again, or we'll see if it's a sideways deal. Because if I had profits in something else today, and I might, i got to keep looking, um, I would buy more Cardano. Because even at this price, I think it's a good, it's a good buy. Um, particularly if you're long-term holding. All right, and I think it is every time I just watch any of Charles Hoskinson's videos, interviews, talks, it's a really good project, people. And uh, at the very least, they're doing a really good job of communicating with those of us who are interested in a way that's, I think, better than any other project. I mean, he's literally just taking the time to explain what's going on and to keep us up updated. 
And that takes a lot of time, and that's a that takes some commitment on their part. So uh, I like that, and it's sitting nicely right here on the two hundred hour. So that's a significant crossover, and uh, you know it's kind of back. It's back up pretty much to where, you know, it looked like it was going to me before we had this down dip. But the other beauty is, you know, we have some up, we have some below. That's, that's kind of a good gauge of what's the real value, you know, what's the kind of value in between the highs and the lows, which would be the average, right? <laughs> and there it is, right at the 200 hour average, boom. So cool. So that's pretty much it for all the things that I'm watching pretty closely. I got a bunch of others that I'm kind of keeping an eye on, but that's my process and it's Saturday, so I'm done. I'm going to go goof off. Uh, my girlfriend's visiting me and my friend's dog is visiting us and uh, it's snowing and uh, there's a warm fire in the other room. And so I think I'm going to just kind of stop. <laughs> no big news, no big philosophical discussions today. Uh, I think it's all going to work out better than we could possibly imagine. And we're going to have world peace and prosperity and abundance for all and uh, stuff like that. So uh, have a great Saturday. Peace, grooviness. I appreciate you guys. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please hit that little button so you get notifications. And uh as the weeks go on, I may be doing more special reports that are just focusing in on one thing. Let me know if you like that uh, little Bitcoin one I did, where I look deep into the orifices of Bitcoin uh, and just really kind of did a mind meld with Bitcoin. Give it a shot. See what see what that was like. See if that was helpful. And if that's uh, helpful, I'll do more of those. And other than that, I'm out of here. Start the music. Mm-hmm.